Hey guys, this is Jerm, and as many of you know, I'm not buying any more games until I have played everything in my Steam library. Not necessarily beaten everything, but at least played everything in my Steam library. And uh, that excludes multiplayer games I'm playing with the Casual Shenanigans gaming crew, but everything else, all single player experiences, not buying any more of for the time being. Uh, so what I've been playing this week from my Steam backlog is uh, Hotline Miami. Hotline Miami is an ultra-violent, top-down... Uh, 2d game it's pretty cool um, it's really really hard uh, you'll see in the video footage I start over like you can I mean the game is set up so you can quick reload uh, your save and I have to do that because I die constantly um, it's very very hard game I feel like it might be easier with a controller but I didn't hook my controller up to try it because to be honest I was a little lazy but uh, it's a ton of fun uh, and I am really enjoying it the next game I've been playing a lot this week is uh, Oil Rush. Oil Rush is kind of like a very simplified version of Command and Conquer, but for oil. Like you capture various areas and then they generate units and you use those units to capture other areas and you win when you take out everyone on the map. So I guess it's not totally like Command and Conquer, but it reminded me of Command and Conquer. Um, it's very simple. It's an indie game. Uh, I got it as part of a, an indie game bundle. Um, so, I mean, this is definitely like a $5 game. But, uh, you know, it, it's kind of simplistic. I'd be interested to see what they could do with Oil Rush 2 or something like that. Um, but, yeah, I thought it was pretty fun. You know, I don't know if I'd pay full price for it. But if you get it in part of a pack, it's a fun little distraction for an hour or two. And uh, next game is Space Pirates and Zombies, or Spaz. And uh, this one I wasn't really feeling. Um, I understand that it's pretty fun for a lot of people, but I don't know. I just wasn't feeling it. You fly around in this little spaceship and you mine asteroids and kill other units and it just, I, I could see the potential for it to get really fun in like another four or five hours, but it wasn't that much fun when I started playing it. So I just didn't really want to continue. Um, but you know, I'm sure for some people it's a lot of fun. It just wasn't really my cup of tea. Uh, then I've been playing Super Meat Boy. Super Meat Boy is also fairly hard. I'm not even that far into it, um, but I'm, you know, I'm enjoying it pretty well. Uh, it's kind of like a platformer. I mean, most of you have probably heard of it. It's like a platformer that you die a lot and you play as a sack of meat going to rescue his love, something along those lines. Um, and I don't know, it's decently fun. Um, you know, I, I'm not really good at these types of games generally, but we'll see how far I can get into this one before I get too frustrated. Um, but yeah, you know, it's decent. Uh, I think it was on sale in the recent Steam sale for like $2 or something. I'd say it's definitely worth that. Um, I'm also playing Rage, the quasi-Borderlands style shooter from um, the guys who made Doom. Now, I don't have any video footage of Rage because for some reason none of my video recording programs will record it. They'll spool up, but then something with Rage, it just won't let it do it. Uh, Rage is poorly optimized, runs horribly, freezes all the time, although it is very pretty, but... Uh, yeah, you know, so far it's okay. The guns are really awesome, which makes sense because it's the guys who made Doom. But uh, the rest of the game is not incredible so far. But I'm going to keep playing it. We'll see how it goes. I've also been playing a fair bit of uh, The Binding of Isaac. And um, I don't really like that game either. Uh, I, the only roguelike I've ever really enjoyed is FTL. So maybe it's just I don't like roguelikes. But uh, the game is certainly unique. Um, I just, it was... It's kind of confusing at times. I wasn't really sure exactly what I'm supposed to be doing uh, or how to proceed. Um, I feel like maybe you could have used a better tutorial or maybe you're just supposed to stumble through it. I mean, that's entirely possible. Uh, but yeah, I haven't really enjoyed it. So I might come back to it later. But uh, for now, I think I'm probably done with it. But uh, anyway, I know that's a, a lot of games I've been playing this week. Honestly, it's about actually the last like week and a half, two weeks. But uh, yeah, I'm just piling through stuff in my Steam library. Um, having a great time doing it. Other updates, I uh, am still planning on eating that onion. I just haven't, honestly, have not had the time during the day to sit down and record myself eating an onion. I want to do it outside where the lighting's good. Uh, I mentioned on Twitter that I did eat an onion before, but my camera froze midway through the recording, and I didn't realize that until I'd already finished eating it, and uh, the video file was corrupted and I couldn't use any of it, so... I, it's, I gotta psych myself back up to do it again, um, but I am gonna do it. Don't worry. I know I'm at like a hundred or a thousand and sixty something subscribers, so I've definitely missed my a thousand subscriber mark. Um, so sorry, 
But uh, yeah, I will definitely be doing it and putting it up at some time in the near future. Uh, I have lots of really cool videos coming out soon, a lot of Arma stuff. Um, I've been playing some really fun missions with the Casual Shenanigans guys. Um, and I've been trying to get in with United Operations uh, and play some Arma with them. I was, I've was i joined a couple matches with them, but uh, unfortunately, the matches I've joined have been really, really big, epic missions, and I just haven't been able to devote two or three hours to them. So hopefully I'll be able to get in on, on some uh, shorter missions and have a good time doing that. But uh, yeah, other than that, things are going well. Thank you guys for watching the videos. Thank you guys for commenting, talking to me. I love talking to you guys. And uh, see you guys later.